So just as an introduction to our chakra flow sequence, I wanted to share with you a little bit about the chakras. Forgive me if you know all this already, but it is fascinating. And um, so just to help you have a greater understanding of those centers. So um, in yoga philosophy, we are taught that we are, we are more than physical beings. We are more than skin and bone and blood. We are in fact, energetic beings. We have life force within us and we have life force around us. And that's, that's that experience of, of being alive that is so wonderful. And according to the Vedas, the ancient uh, yogic texts of medicine and yoga, they said that throughout the body, we have many, many energy channels. In fact, 72,000. And these energy channels are called nadis. And they run all through the body. And their counterpart on physical terms is the spinal cord and then the paraspinous chains, everything that leaves and emanates from the spine, the spinal nerves. Uh, so chakras are um, energy centers, if you like. They're described in lots of different ways, um, but um, I like to imagine them as whirling, flowing centers of energy. And apparently we have 48 perpetually spinning chakras within the body. In our yoga movement, we um, work with the seven main chakras that the ancient yogis discovered are mapped along the spine. And so to keep that free flow and to have really optimal health, that is why we have postures, we have asanas in order to keep the spine and the spinal fluid um, mobile and flowing. So just a little bit about those seven main chakras that you'll hear the names in uh, your yoga. So the, main, the, the first one is Muladhara, and that is at the base of the spine. This is our foundation, if you like. It's the place where we feel at home, right at the base, around the pelvic region. And this is often depicted as a beautiful ruby red colour. And when there's free flow of energy here, we feel stable and we feel secure. And then moving up to Swadistan, which is the centre a few centimetres below the navel. And this is depicted as a beautiful saffron orange, the colour of the sun as it comes above, uh, as it rises um, above the horizon. And this is our centre of relationships and emotions. So we often, I think we know, don't we, we can often feel emotion, good or bad, in this part of the body. We get butterflies or we get a, a heaviness. And so when there's free flow in this centre, we have uh, healthy relationships and positive emotions. So moving up to Manipura, this is depicted as a beautiful sunshine yellow colour. And Manipura is our power centre, our internal power centre, where we feel a zest for life, where we have our, it holds our passion for life. And when there's free flow here, then we have that energy within us. Moving up to Anahata, we often breathe in Drew Yoga into the Anahata space. Anahata is the heart centre, the heart chakra, and the light, the colour of this chakra is a beautiful emerald green. Maybe like the sun as it shines through new, uh, new green leaves. And in this centre, as in many traditions, it's where we experience love and compassion and the connectedness with the world around us. Moving up to Vishuddhi, Vishuddhi is the throat center, the throat chakra, and this is our center of communication. It's where from this place that we can express ourselves, not just in words, but creatively uh, in our life. So the color of this center is a beautiful light blue, like the blue of a, the sky, a cloudless sky on a sunny day. Moving up to Vishuddhi, Vishuddhi is the third eye centre and the colour here is, it's a darker blue, a velvety blue, maybe like the blue of a, a starlit night, that colour between the stars. And this is our centre where when we've got uh, the energies flowing nicely here, we, we can see our higher purpose, we feel open, we have a clear inner vision of what it is that we should be doing. 
the right thing to do at the right time. And then moving up to Sahasra is the crown chakra. And Sahasra is often depicted as a magenta, a beautiful pinkish purple, or maybe a violet light. And this is our crown uh, energy, where we can experience that connectedness with all of nature, that we are a part of all of nature, that our consciousness is part of universal consciousness. And some people say we can experience uh, a connection with the divine. It's that that we experience in those beautiful moments of stillness that come upon us without really realizing how. So those are the chakra centers, the, um, and we'll be working on uh, the movement in our sequence this week to just free up the spine, to allow the energy at those chakra spaces to become balanced and aligned. So I look forward to sharing the chakra sequence with you.